it was really cool to just be a part of that and have this surprise hit just kind of come out of nowhere. It changed my career almost overnight. Uh, and then last but not least, most recently, uh, any Dragon Ball Super fans? Anybody here watching Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super, uh, playing the Grand Priest? For, I'll drop you. I'm officially the Grand Priest for that. So now, again, really cool that as a kid, I loved Dragon Ball. And that was the thing, like, I, I can't tell you how many thousands of dollars I spent out of, out of my first job, my first and only job in high school. It's like everything went to Dragon Ball Z VHSs every three months. And that was the thing me and my friends did after school. And now I'm stronger than Goku. So... Like, it's it's a pretty crazy thing. Uh, I love that that's the uh, dream. Just because it's like, I'm, I'm stronger than Goku now. Yeah, just... I'm, I'm gonna be on Tsunami with, in, at, in Dragon Ball, and I'm stronger than Goku. That is, that is pretty cool to be fair. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. So those are my favorites. Do we have any audience questions? Definitely. We got one like up here up front. Where's our... I'm, I'm gonna be honest, there is this super nerd over there that I think is too shy to put her hand up. Because green. when you asked, she instantly was like, uh, 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 You can do it. I believe in you. You can do it. I believe. <laughs> Alright, so who... We had somebody that was going to run the microphone a second ago. Um, yeah, they, uh, uh, Jack's up on top. Look for the really creepy hey, guy with the beard. Sweet. Hey, what's up, handsome? Hey, what's up? How's it going? Got the Ray-Bans up there looking all fly. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't encourage him. <laughs> don't, don't encourage him. <laughs> Right. So if you have uh, if you have a question, raise your hand, and he will bring the microphone to you. Unless you're this person yeah. right here up front who is not in the bleachers, can you? Do you think? Uh, I this yeah. Game? Do you want to come over here? I can I can grab you. Right. No. All right. Um, right. Before we do that, I'll go. Oh. Out, I'll walk around. I'll go down that way. All right. Cool. cool. I have a question. All right. What's uh, your question? Pretty deep one, actually. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'll come down in a second. Don't worry. Um. Obviously, Zach on tie in. Yeah. It's pretty deep. Like, there's, there's horrible stuff happening. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we watch it and you come away feeling a little bit like, oh, have you ever had that moment being any character where you've walked out of, like, the recording booth and just been like, oh, what did I just record? Right. Uh, uh, Tyrion from Ruby. Any Ruby fans? Yeah, raise your teeth, rock on. Yeah, there's, uh, at the end of volume four, of Ruby, there's this scene where Tyrion, uh, having having disappointed his his mistress, his goddess, uh, is heartbroken and also and like he loses his mind. He's already a crazy character, crazy individual, but at that moment he just snaps and loses it. And so like four takes, I had to do this minute and a half long thing straight through that starts with Tyrion crying, like just break down, sobbing, that then turns into rage as he attacks this, a monster, and he starts just waylaying on it, and he's crying, snarling, and killing it, and then he just starts laughing maniacally, and it's this mix of laugh and cry, laugh and cry, like huge Joker-esque stuff, and so, yeah, and so like, uh, that scene after I walked out, uh, it was just an hour-long thing of fight reactions and that scene. I could not talk for four days afterwards, and I just left feeling physically exhausted and like my soul had been drained. Like just, what just happened? Like, yeah, it was just kind of like, did I just get hit by a bus? Not remember it? All right, cool. Right. Question. Hello. Do you, do you know when season two is coming out? Of uh, Yuri? Yeah. Of Yuri, they have not announced anything for a second season. I know, I wanted to go. There is a movie. There is. They're making a movie. They did the live yeah. Action. They did a live action, but there's also going to be there's going to be an animated movie, as far as I know. Yeah. So it's going to be. I don't know. They haven't announced when it's going to be. Or, or when it's coming, but they have said for sure there is going to be a Yuri on Ice movie. They just haven't said anything about the second season yet. I hope it happens because I would love for it to happen. We need an entire season about pair skating. Yeah, Victor and Yuri pair skating, and Yurio and Odebeck pair skating so that they can be a thing. I did love the brief pause there where you were like, Am I MDA going to do this? Yeah, I have to double check. So, Jack, anyone up here? Anyone got any questions? Jack, where's Jack? Hello. Jack. Hello, Jack. We got a question right here. I haven't even moved. Right, you see the 
qu the, the people with the hands raised. These people have questions. I know. Can you go to them, please? Begin with a uh, lady who decides to wear a blue tie on her face. That's Yuri. That's me. It's drunk me. Hey, Hello. Uh, you mentioned some before um, voices that you wanted to do that you have already gone for. Uh huh. If you could pick any voice act or any character to do, past, present, or future, who would it be? Just to like redo? Yeah, to read if you, if you wanted to redo or if you wanted to be cast as them. Hmm. I would go back and do a character I did in a show called The Wallflower. Now, it was like early 2000s, uh, 2003, 2004. Uh, it was my first lead role ever, and uh, I was a huge fan of Nabashin growing up. And it was, I think, his last show he ever made, and I got to be the lead role in it. And, uh, but I was still so new, technically, in terms of, at that point, all I'd ever done was good parts and, and background stuff. And so I'd like to now, with 14 years of experience under my belt, I'd, li I'd like to go back and see just how differently, if I would approach him any differently, or like the things, that, like having maybe more confidence in my reads and stuff, instead of just screaming everything. Because that's what he is, he's just an angry, loud dude who's funny, but like, I'd like to be able to go back now that I have the confidence in my acting abilities and the experience in the booth to actually, to put behind that. That'd be fun. Very nice. Next question. Hands on oh, that side. Yeah, Keep I, your hand up. I really do that. I believe in you. And then we'll come back down to you guys, okay? Obviously. Please don't. Yeah, don't worry. I'm coming back. I'm going to just... How am I going to do this? Oh. Nope. Just, just, you know, there you go. What's up, Ladybird? Uh, do you remember Shippy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the horror show, right? Yeah. What do you think of the I, I have to be honest, I barely remember anything about Shiki. I remember being just that really kind of quiet, almost vampiric looking goth dude that showed up for like one episode. He was just like in the, he just was living in the house and he was pretty tame overall. But I don't really, I didn't really get to see much of the hairstyles and stuff in that show. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> okay, next question. Uh, the gentleman who has been fantastically holding the phone for like 20 minutes now. Yeah, Paul Phone and then the guy next to him if we could. Please. Yeah. Which guy? Phone, right here in the front. Oh, okay. White phone. Hi, Internet. It's awesome to meet you. Nice to what, meet you. What is your favorite Tyrion line? Favorite Tyrion line? I can't say the one, because it's all ages panel. Uh, yeah, you can say bitch. Oh, the UK's great. I couldn't I'm, do that I'm, in the I'm, States. I'm going to be honest, you could pretty much get away with every swear word once, apart from the C word. Okay, cool. Good to know. Because um, I can apologize the rest of the way. So yeah, just the teary, just shouting at me, like, that line was so much fun. Like, for, for me, it was just this passing thing. But then after it aired, the Ruby community lost their minds. Because apparently it was the first time that a curse word had ever been said in the entirety of Ruby. And people were like, oh, And then people started coming up to me at cons being like, well, How did it feel to say the first curse word in Ruby? And I'm like, Honor? <laughs> like, it, it, was, it was really bizarre, but like, yeah, I mean, it was a fun moment. Uh, other than that, I would just say anything, any line of his where he just gets to laugh ridiculously or just be himself. So, like, just that first, the first time we see him, that little nod to Cinder afterwards, that, I for an eye. <laughs> That was for you. So, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm a little intimidated. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I got that just for Oh. It, I, I mean, I just assume it's gonna be better than mine. Oh, right. Because mine is a this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, right. You had this guy up here. It was, it was yeah, gentlemen back down here. Yeah, he was right next to the Thanks for running back up, Jack. Now I don't feel so bad. Pleasure. Just, you know, think, of that, think of that exercise. Yeah, black, black shirt. Okay. Yes. Hello. Hello. Uh, if you could advise anyone uh, other than Armin in a different time, who else would you like to advise? I auditioned for Aaron and Levi, along with Armin. 
uh, Aaron wouldn't have been too much different. You know, obviously he wouldn't have sounded as young. Uh, I'm glad that I got Armin instead because I don't want to do Aaron's guttural screaming every time, you know? Uh, Levi could have been fun though, but just... You as Levi would have been amazing. Oh, just Levi. Like, All right, cadets. Tell me what I'm seeing here. You've got two seconds to explain yourselves. Type thing. You know, like just, you know, just that cool voice, whatever. But like, you can't beat Matt Mercer at being the cool guy. So, I'm glad that I got Armin because I don't think I would have been cast as anything else if they hadn't, haven't given me Armin. You're literally just living on a dream with that one, aren't you? Pretty much. It's like, yep, that's my life. They're paying me to be that thing that I wanted to be. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, that's, that's my thing. I don't ever want to lose Armin. He has such a great journey, too. I think Armin has overall, other than, like, Jean, I think, I think Armin has the most interesting character arc, other than, like, Jean or something. Because, like, Aaron has kind of been crazy and angry since moment one. It just took his mother and all that stuff going on for to just kind of push him over the edge. But once he was there, he stayed there. Like, not much changed. Same with Mikasa, or like Levi or any of those guys. But Levi has a great origin story, and that's where his arc happens. But like Armin's arc, we get to see, we get to go on that entire journey with him from moment one, where it starts off with him not believing in himself and being his own worst enemy, thinking that he's worthless, to realizing, oh, not only am I not worthless, I'm courageous and these people have been counting on me. Like, my friends actually count on me and stuff. So, like, it was really cool. Like, it's been really great to follow along and, and, and see that transformation. But if I got to, if I was playing like Aaron or Levi, I wouldn't have that. So, I would just stick with Armin. And like you said, all the screaming. All the screaming. Yeah. Even Connie. Like, I would have loved to, like, Connie would have been a fun role because I love comedic characters, but he screams everything. It's just like, I'll let Cliff do that. I don't want any part of that. I had enough of my scream with the Armin scream, and then that became like... Apparently that became like the most downloaded ringtone of 2014. <laughs> and it still tickles me to think of just kids somewhere waking up to me screaming in their ears or something. Or somebody actually told me a story that they used it to uh, whenever they had like a text. Whenever they would get a text, I would scream at them. And the greatest thing is they took their phone to school one day and forgot to turn it on silent. So they just started getting texts and stuff in the middle of class and I guess like it was like an uh, English class or something because it was really quiet and everybody was reading and stuff and then all of a sudden you just hear, ah! <laughs> and so, it, uh, it was an interesting day for that student. They didn't get their phone back for like two weeks. Oh, really? Uh, uh, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Right, Jack, I believe you've got a question.